Hello Aries, welcome to a special messages from Spirit reading. This is going to be for the next six months. Uh, it's going to be a general reading like always. And we're just going to jump right in. Make sure you check out your sun, moon, and rising signs for these um, readings that I'm doing. I think I'm going to put them on playlist. Check out the uh, description box or whatever I have pinned in the comments. All right, for Aries, there are angels, guides, messages for Aries. For the next six months, what does Aries need to know, Spirit? For the next six months. For the next six months. Courage and bravery. Okay. What else for Aries, Spirit? What do they need to know for the next six months? What does Aries need to know, Spirit? Any messages that you have for Aries for the next six months? What is ahead for Aries? For Aries. Message in a bottle. Okay. Interesting, Aries. So there's probably some sort of, um, obviously, a message coming in for you. I feel like this is connected to courage and bravery. Like maybe this is something that you need to be bold about, or um, maybe this is something you need to be brave about, uh, strong. Let me look at this courage and bravery card real quick. You have the heart of a warrior. You want to do what's right, but it isn't always easy. Being brave isn't about being emotionless. Your vulnerability will allow you to tap into an even greater inner strength. This is a time to take ownership of your energy in any situations that could be making you feel less than good. Okay, so there could be um, something with this message that's probably not what you expected. We'll see. For Aries. What messages do you have for Aries Spirit for the next six months? Oh. For Aries. For Aries. Let's see what we get for you, Aries. We have the Empress, Two of Swords, and the Tower. Wow. Okay, so... There's a tower coming in the next six months. This could be anything. This could be a secret revealed. This could be the crumbling of a foundation. This could be um, some sort of separation if you're in a connection. Or this could be something that might rock your world a little bit. The tower could also be, I know that you know a lot of readers on here, the tower is always kind of negative, but... The tower can also be a pleasant surprise. So some sort of revelation that maybe is a bit shocking, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a horrible thing, you know? We'll clarify and see. I feel like this tower is gonna catch you off guard. Um, I think also this tower is gonna come at a time where you are feeling pretty good or um, it's almost like, um, you are stepping into your own here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Cups. So there could be something that you are walking away from here, Aries. Let's see. I want to start with this tower because it's just such a big, like, wow. Spirit, tell me about this tower for Aries. What is this tower for Aries about? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the tower here? The hangman. Why is the tower here for Aries? Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you need to be very strong to face this tower. I feel like you're not going to know what to do when it comes. Like, um... I don't know. I think this is a decision you're going to have to make here. Um, for example, and I don't want to like, you know, make this sound like a huge thing. This could be for some of you, like you didn't get the job that you wanted 
Um, you got a rejection letter in the mail. Uh, maybe you wanted to take things to the next level with your person, but they told you actually, I don't want to do that. Um, or maybe you have to make some sort of move. Now this King of Pentacles is here. This could be financial for some of you. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. I feel like the this could be um, a message. And I have here Justice, Libra Energy. Interesting. This could be um, some sort of final decision or a legal decision or an official decision of some sort that comes to you in a message. Bottom of the deck, I have again the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is probably going to um, be a difficult to hear at first because I think you're going to have to leave a situation or change paths or move. Tell me about the hangman. Two of Cups. This could be some sort of partnership. This could be a relationship. Another person could be involved here. Um, Ten of Cups. Interesting. So maybe you had high hopes. Uh, maybe you had something here had a lot of potential. Uh, maybe this was something that you felt was the right fit for you. And something happened here. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, the wheel is constantly turning. So I would say, you know, if this is something that kind of rocks your world here, Aries, um, it doesn't mean that it's the end all be all. There, there's something else coming here for you. Tell me about the Two of Swords. I'm getting guarded energy from these two energies here, the Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. And also the hangman too, ace of pen. Yeah, there's something here that's coming. Interesting, you know what? Ace of cups and the strength card. Ooh, okay. So remember what I was saying that this tower does not have to necessarily be something negative. Okay, so basically what I'm getting here with these cards and specifically, and then there's the moon at the bottom of the deck. Pisces energy. You don't see this coming. I think this is a, a message from a specific person and you don't know what to do about it. And it's almost like you have to choose. So this King of Pentacles could be that person that communicates with you. Maybe they want to make something right here and you're not sure. Maybe you don't trust this person or you don't trust where this is going. Some of you, this is a job offer. Um, it's like maybe you had an idea of a job offer that you wanted, but instead you get this other one. And so now you have to decide, you know, what will make me happy? What would be the right thing to do here? Because you're not sure. There's, there's doubt here or confusion. So it's almost like a surprise offer, but not from what, who you expect. Tell me about the Empress. Ten of Wands. You're going to have to be very strong here, Aries. Three of Wands. Yeah, and you're going to have to like hold on. There's something that you need to like hold on here about. And the High Priestess. Bottom of the deck, I have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Yeah, I feel like there's almost like a path you're headed towards. And it's been very difficult because I feel like you've been waiting for something to happen and it hasn't happened yet. And you've kind of been carrying this along and, you know, maybe you've been struggling and it's been difficult for you or weighing on you. You know, I feel like all this waiting around has maybe caused you to feel burdened or weighed down. But there's definitely something coming here, Aries, either an offer of love or a job opportun opportunity. Something here is coming, something new. And I feel like you're, you're, the decision will be yours to make. And that decision, it's going to require you to be strong. I have the strength card here, Leo energy. And I think, you know, it's going to be difficult at first because you weren't expecting this particular offer, offer to come in. And I really think it's going to surprise you, like shock you here. 
Spirit, what messages, advice, guidance do you have for Aries for the next six months? Any final messages, advice, guidance for Aries? I think your intuition is very important here in making the right decision. The signs are cautioning you. Yeah, your intuition is going to help you here make this decision that comes in. You know, if I were you, I would not make any rash decisions or quick impulsive decisions in this particular instance. Good news on the way. Yeah, I feel like this will be something that maybe you are going to be happy about, but I also think, yeah, bottom of the deck, make a change. There's going to be some sort of change that's going to happen. That's why it's not an easy decision because it's going to be something that changes your life or changes the course of your life here for maybe the next year. All right, Aries, I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. If you enjoyed it, if you claimed this reading, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave me a comment, say hello. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thanks for watching and take care.